morning guys it is so early as you could see it was just completely black outside still we want to go photograph those 12 apostles and last night on our way into where we're staying we passed them and it was a good hour after sunset and we were like oh we'll just go pull in quickly and have a look no there was still so many cars there from so many other people also looking at the 12 apostles that we just took one look and went no just keep going we we're really tired and we would have just been fighting people so the plan today is to be there before the people so we have gotten up and we're leaving well before the sun gets up so that we get there also well before the sun gets up to hopefully get a good spot so we'll let you know how that goes just to give you an idea we have about a 20 minute drive ahead of us and this is the drive it is literally pitch black we only have the lights off of our car and there's signs everywhere that say kangaroos and being from Australia ourselves and living in a kangaroo prone area we know that this is the time of day that they like to jump out so we've got to take it pretty easy as well so it'll probably take a bit longer than 20 minutes but if you're going to get up early for sunrise to do things like this just be prepared this is what you're going to be looking at we thought we were getting here really early but apparently everybody else had the same idea I don't know if you can see this properly it's still the sky's looking lighter but it's actually um still pretty dark in person it just looks lighter through the camera because it's letting the light in there but there is actually quite a lot of cars here a lot more than we were expecting for how much like oh, we're no. still a good half hour before sunrise time so but we can get a spot so last night we couldn't even get a spot in the car park so that's a good sign but we're just gonna see how this goes Hey, okay, so we've just got to the 12 Apostles and sunrise has just happened but the view is absolutely amazing. Such natural beauty to be honest. Yeah, it's really pretty here. Just finished up at the 12 Apostles. Got here super early, but definitely worth it because the views are absolutely amazing as you can already see in the background. And now we're gonna go check out the Gibson Stats. going down to the bottom it's a pretty steep descent but it's not every day you get to take a staircase down the side of a cliff so definitely gonna go to the bottom and check this out all right so just at the bottom of the Gibson steps and as you can see I mean it is really really tall I mean see if I can angle this one up yeah one thing I didn't actually notice there was actually water that was dripping down from the actual cliffside itself. Also one thing to worry about, uh, if you see these things, so these are blue bottle jellyfish, so do not get anywhere near these guys. If these ones are on the shore, then they're certainly in the water and they will sting. Lockhart Gorge and there is a viewing platform up there but we've come down because you get a lot better views. It's really beautiful down here, um, the water's really blue but they don't recommend swimming in it because the current's very strong 
Also, we've noticed a lot of those little um, the blue, blue, bottles? blue bottle jellyfish, which um, hurt a lot if you get stung by them. I've never experienced it, don't really want to. Yeah, it's not fun. But the reason this is called the Lockard Gorge is because in 1878, a ship wrecked here called the Lockard, and there was two survivors from that ship, and hence the name of this place was actually named after them because they washed up into the gorge. Luckily, they washed up here and not anywhere else along the shipwreck coast, or they would have been pushed into the walls. So um, that's how this place got its name. me here is London Bridge. Not sure if it had that name before or after the collapse but it's a cliff rock formation and once upon a time it was the whole length here and then there was a collapse at some stage which brought down the middle section of it but I'm going to do some more googling on that once we've got phone reception back and we'll let you know about it but it's a really beautiful area to come and check out. There's several viewing platforms along here. And we just hit Allensford, which is the official end of the Great Ocean Road. Uh, Allensford has a post office and general store all in one. And there is a pub, which is also just behind me. All of them are closed, but that is country towns for you, unfortunately. We just finished up at Childers Cove and also got some goat's cheese from Childers Cove Cheese Company. Also saw a goat, which was actually relatively cute, and Liz got to pat it quite a few times, and it did try and eat her, her outfit, but anyway. So, considering that the general store was closed, it looks like we're going to be having cheese on cheese for basically all of our food from here until our next point. <laughs> We've reached our destination for the night and we're in which is a town called Portland which is a little bit special because this is the town that I grew up in and we'll be basing ourselves here for about a week or so. We're going to go out and explore and do a few day trips from here um, but yeah that's the end of our Great Ocean Road journey at this point in time so we are going to pick it up again on our way back to Melbourne to fly back to Perth so anything that we did miss on the way down we'll be doing those things on the way back but for the meanwhile, we'll be staying with Matt's family. So we won't be doing any room tours or anything on this round, but um, we'll definitely be showing you around the Southwest Victoria region and then the final spots on the Great Ocean Road. So if you wanna follow along on that journey, make sure you subscribe to our channel and like this video and share it with your friends because it helps us a lot to keep this channel going and producing this content for you.